Hello friends, in this video, I will show you how to add more petals to the photo it is more impressive and shimmering. Then our rose petals can be grafted in many cases. And a lot of situations to be able to use. In this photo, this petal is real, guys, this is a raw file. So this is the actual picture. However, if you can't capture this real flower like me, then you can completely apply the way that I instructed. Let me add flower petals to make the picture more impressive and sparkling. Okay, I'll start editing this photo. I always analyze the photo first. The histogram is a bit dark in this picture, you see. This part of the light is a bit dark, so I will add 0.3 stops. Next. And then I subtract the shadow. Then I add a little bit of contrast. And that. I continue to add 0.3 stops. Then the picture is much brighter now, you see? Then don't worry, if the histogram has not passed. Then in this picture there will be no such thing as burnout. I don't need to worry about the photo burning. Then I can pull this dress out. And pull the foot of the root. And just pull the skirt, I don't want his legs too long. Well, in this photo, my dress is long now. And I will deal with the subject first. I will squeeze the dress. By going to liquefy. Lightly squeeze the dress to curl it a little. So now I can also do blocking the picture. So that it doesn't get messed up when the latter part. Normally, I would hit later. But the little eye intends to put the petals in, so it's up to Sam to handle this part first. So I'll take care of this part. Then dodge. Before, after. Now I will show you how to add more flowers. I will choose in the other section. I choose two, I will see that it is a lot of petals here. I will choose a flower petal that I like. Then I pick this one. Make the petal as big as your actual petal. My rose petals are pretty big. Okay, I'll leave it here. So that the color is similar, I will choose this brush color. Then I will option. And choose the color. The color of the petals. Let's reset the color. Then I will paint on my petal color. You can see that it will be quite similar in color to each other. Then after I've done it. Then I can go to hue slash saturation. I reduce the darkness a bit and I increase the brightness. Do you see? These two colors are very similar to each other. And then I'll delete the ones that stick too much. For example, this place is too sticky, I finds it fake, I deletes it. Make it real. Now I will put some more petals at the bottom of the flower to show it real. Okay, this is done, I'll add another one. Also other, I will choose a different type of petal. Then I choose this petal. Okay. So my process is similar. I also chose brush color, I chose the color back then, so now I don't need to choose anymore. The old color, now I will sweep in. After scanning like that, I also went to hue slash saturation. I darkened it a little bit and I increased the color saturation a bit. Make it real. Before, after. So now I will delete those. I reset the brush, set it to 100%. Delete the ones that I feel are a bit fake. For example, this one is fake. Here is I seeing it as unreal, here. I give it less, too much. In case you do not have real my petals, you can arbitrarily adjust the color to suit it. Before, after. I merge all the layers together, then I group them. Then I will see before, after. Now you can also colorize the entire petal to make it the same. It changes all the time, for example, I add color cast. 
I choose to add red. I give these petals, old, and new it also has color. I find it very similar. Then I finish the flower part. Now, the next step is to adjust the color of this scene. Then the color of this scene, first I will see it a bit yellow. Then I will enter the white balance I reduced. A little bit light. Before, after. You can also try the white dress. Here I see a lot of pure white, a little less mine. And I see that this leaf is too bright. Then I can color correct. By being one choose my fine art color is to choose the forest color. This color. Before, after. There are many ways to color correct. The second way is that you can reduce the green. In the forest, the green is the main color. Here I can adjust this color. This depends on you. I like the color, I like the way, I adjust that way. Then I saw how to reduce this green. I prefers it. But when I reduced it, it was only 50% off. And then I will group all the layers together. Merge. Then group them all together. Then I will erase the light smudges here. Delete this forever. The leaves that are not beautiful, I also deletes. Here it is smeared with light. Shift delete. Then the section on making leather I has guided you a lot already, please see the previous tutorials. Then I might as well make this dress brighter. I created a new layer where I contoured these rose petals. I can still beat it to block. Turn on. Look at it more real. Before, after. Then I'll also make the dress light up a bit. Then dark. Darken the skirts here. The dress itself becomes more 3D. Here, I can erase the light smudge. And just like that, this photo is finished. However, you can also combine a few more. Then I will show you how to add bright flares. Here. Depending on what flare you like, for example, Sam likes this flare. I will add this flare. Here I will see it has sunlight. These are optional options. I will go here and delete the border. Then you can also add smoke. I choose one of my favorite smokes. Put it in here. Make the picture more blurry. Then remember to delete. Remember to remove the border. Here delete the border. These are the two I added, I will group again. I see before, after. You can choose whether to add smoke or not to add smoke to your photo. Usually, I will rarely pair these. These are just Sam's instructions for you, so that you know how to do it. So everyone's taste is different. I will guide you. As for the taste of each person, the way of adjusting each person, it is different for each person. Here, I can squeeze the subject's waist a little bit. At first, Sam didn't have a wallet. So in Photoshop I see, to be honest, there is no right or wrong to edit photos. It's just my taste. But everyone has their own taste. So please respect the corrections of others. Then each person has a different taste, then I will edit the photo differently.